No, Jason. How many times do I have to repeat it? I can't do that. Yeah, I know. I know it's not correct, but I really can't do that. No matter what. No, don't insist. Of course, he won't understand. He will never forgive me. I don't know. I'll have to find a solution myself, but he can't find out. No, my dad can't find out. He won't forgive me. What I did was something totally wrong. May I know what that terrible thing is you can't tell me, Richard? I want to know. Dad. Hello. Uh, no, it's nothing. You heard wrong. No, I heard very well. You are telling your best friend you did something terrible, and I want to know. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I promise it will never happen again. Just give me an opportunity, please. I failed this time, but I promise I will pass the next exam. I don't know what happened to me. I studied hard, but I couldn't make it. I promise it won't happen again. Wait a minute. That terrible thing you did was that you failed your midterm exam? Yes, but it won't happen again. I don't know what happened. That's okay, son. Why would I get angry just because of an exam? Well, I never failed an exam. I always got excellent grades. I'm the best student. Or, well, I was the best student. With this failure, I don't know anymore. Oh God, are you serious? No, you can't be serious. Son, that's okay. I mean, it's okay to fail sometimes. It's not a big deal. It is for me. It's the first time I failed an exam, and I feel terrible. I can't believe it. Okay, we need to talk about it. I will tell you why failure is also important. Failure teaches us about love, relationships, money, business, and people. Failure sets the stage for us to reach our goals. We can use failure as a teaching tool to improve skills like problem solving, leadership, communication, decision making, learning, and so on. Think of failure like this every decision we make has a 50% chance of success and a 100% warranty to teach you something new in the process. You see? You're just saying that so I don't feel bad. You're my dad, you have to tell me that. Oh, come on. I know when you experience failure, you can feel it in your gut. You may think to yourself, I'm never coming back from this. I know that your confidence and self-esteem can take a hit. You might not want to try something new again. But let me tell you something really important about failure, my dear son. It took Thomas Edison 10,000 attempts to perfect the light bulb. Bill Gates' first company was a complete disaster, seriously. Walt Disney was fired from a newspaper job for lack of creativity. Can you believe that? Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first job where she experienced sexual harassment and a hostile work environment. The most successful people in the world have failed often, but what lessons can failure teach you?
Honestly, our definition of failure might vary depending on our experiences. So what is failure? Failure is defined as a lack of success, the inability to meet an expectation. One example is your exam. You had expected to get a good grade, but you couldn't make it. Failure hurts. It doesn't make us feel good. It can put our perfectionism to the test. It can be difficult to pick ourselves up to try again. So what do you learn from failure? Well, a lot more than you think. For example, resilience. With failure, we learn resilience. It's hard not to learn how to build resilience after a failure, especially if you're determined to overcome failure. Believe me, resilience can help you build a growth mindset. It can help you adopt the right behaviors to overcome change. Humility. Our egos are sensitive, they can grow and evolve into beasts of their own. And most of the time, a healthy dose of failure is good for our ego, it keeps us humble. Failure can teach us how to embody important characteristics like humility and leadership. Flexibility Even the best laid plans are disrupted, and that goes for failures too. I often think of the phrase, you can't do the same thing over and over and expect different results. Failure teaches flexibility, adaptability, and how to overcome obstacles. It teaches us to use change to our advantage. It keeps us nimble and helps us adopt that growth mindset. Innovation and creativity. Much like flexibility, Innovation and creativity can present themselves as lessons of failure. Practice some patience and inner work to keep the creative juices flowing amid failure. Motivation When someone tells me I can't do something, it makes me that much more determined to prove them wrong. Oftentimes, our failures are motivators. For example, Let's say you're practicing your presentation skills. You've bombed multiple presentations and public speaking opportunities, and you make mistakes along the way. But by your tenth performance, you finally nail it perfectly. Seeing progress along the way is a big motivator. Failure can help fill our motivation and help us reach our goals. It's important to learn from failure because it brings us one step closer to reaching success. As Bill Gates said, it's okay to celebrate success, but it's more important to heed the lessons of failure. All right, then. You're not angry because I failed an exam. I can do it better next time. Exactly, son. I'm not angry because you failed an exam. I understand that it's a part of life, and it happens to everyone. The key is to learn from it and use it as a stepping stone for improvement. I believe in you, and I know you can do better next time. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate your understanding. I just felt like I let everyone down especially myself. Failure doesn't define you, Richard. It's just a moment in time, a chance to reflect, learn, and grow. Now, let's talk about how we can work together to ensure you have the support you need for your next exam. We can explore different study strategies, time management techniques, and any other resources that might help you succeed. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. I want to make sure I don't repeat the same mistakes. That's the spirit. 
Remember, it's not about avoiding failure altogether, it's about learning from it and becoming a stronger person as a result. And hey, if you ever need someone to talk to or study with, I'm here for you. Thanks, Dad. I'm lucky to have you. I'll make sure to put in the effort and learn from this experience. That's all I ask for, son. Life is full of challenges, and overcoming them is what makes us resilient and successful. I have no doubt that you'll turn this around. And remember, I love you, regardless of grades or achievements. I love you too, Dad. Thanks for being understanding and supportive. Anytime, Richard. We'll face challenges together, and we'll celebrate successes together. That's what family is for. Now, let's focus on the future. What's your plan moving forward? How do you think we can improve your study routine and ensure you're better prepared for the next exam? Well, I think I need to start by reviewing my study methods. Maybe I wasn't studying effectively or managing my time well. That's a good idea. Let's take a look at your study routine together. We can figure out what worked well and what can be improved. Additionally, consider talking to your teachers for feedback on your performance. They might provide valuable insights and suggestions. Yeah, I'll do that. And maybe I could join a study group or find a tutor for subjects I find challenging. Likewise, Richard. Let's face this challenge together and come out stronger on the other side. Thanks, Dad. I'm grateful to have you as my father. I love you too, son. Now let's go for some ice cream to celebrate your first failure. I hope viewers liked this conversation. If they could improve their English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if they want to support this channel, they can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.